this is Lightroom Guy, and I'm standing in between the Brooklyn Bridge and the Manhattan Bridge here in Brooklyn Bridge Park. This is one of the most iconic places in New York City to shoot a panorama. Shooting panoramas isn't hard, and I'm going to show you how to set up your camera and shoot one with a series of vertical images, and then in a later post, I'm going to show you how to stitch it together in Lightroom, Lightroom 6 and Lightroom CC. First, you'll definitely want to use your tripod. This will give you a steady camera position and help you to keep all your photos lined up. I put my backpack on the center hook for stability, and it keeps my equipment safe and in sight. I'm using a tripod head with a separate set screw for camera rotation without changing the position, and a base plate to quickly put my camera on and off the tripod. And I always shoot camera raw. I set my camera to manual focus, and I orient the camera vertically and make sure that it's level. Then I set my focus to infinity so the focus doesn't change. And finally, I set my metering to manual, choosing a good general exposure for my scene. I loosen the rotation set screw and turn on live view, but you can also use your viewfinder. I first take a junk photo of my hand to identify the start of my sequence. Then I shoot the first frame of my pano and take note of a point in the center of my frame. Then I rotate the camera over about half the frame so there's about a 50% overlap for my next capture. Then I shoot the second frame of my pano. I'll continue doing this until I've captured all of my scene up to a full rotation, which is a 360 degree panorama. This big overlap from one frame to the next is so Lightroom has lots of room to match and properly stitch all the photos together. I shoot vertically so I can get lots of height and since the focus and exposure are manually set, Exposure is consistent from capture to capture, and there won't be any variations in my focus. And try to remember to add a junk photo at the end of your sequence. Now that we're done shooting our series of vertical images for our panorama, let's go to Lightroom 6 and Lightroom CC and stitch it together. 